Absolutely love that track. Absolutely adore it. It's a belting one in it. There you go. That same difference from uh, the X Factor back in 2007. And uh, I'll just remind you about same difference. Uh, they entered the uh, the fourth season of the UK reality TV show, The X Factor, and were actually mentored by the uh, the late. I say late. <laughs> He's not dead. Uh, Simon Cowell. <laughs> you usually say late, great, don't you? And I don't know. Anyway, Simon Cowell and. Uh, uh, they reached the final, eventually finishing third out of uh, a quarter of a million applicants that year. You get my and uh, same difference went, uh, they had two great albums out, but uh, they departed, split up in uh, 2014. They're still brother and sister, of course. Uh, and uh, in 2016, uh, Sean went solo, uh, releasing this track, Turn Me On. Did exceptionally well, and it actually it became the biggest selling single for his label at the time. This week on Thursday, Sean released his fourth solo single. It's called Do or Die, and uh, and I caught up with uh, Sean on Thursday afternoon, and we had a great chat about uh, well what he's been up to over the last six months since I spoke to him last. Friend of the show is Sean. He's been on four times now, and uh, I absolutely love having a chat with him. He's a great lad, wonderful, wonderful character. So here he is uh, on Calon FM, the stage and screen show, Sean Smith. Sit back and enjoy. Andy, how are you, mate? I'm very well. How are you, fella? Yeah, really good. Oh, just, just honestly, it's the weirdest thing on uh, release day. You just always feel like excited, nervous, like uh, just onto everything, and just it's just an amazing feeling, though. But, yeah. Um, yeah. It's so great to hear your voice, buddy. Thanks so much. Yes, it's it's uh, it, it it seems like it was like about three weeks ago that I spoke to you last. <laughs> I know, but I know it's me. It was what, what, like two days ago. <laughs> I don't know. That's exactly how it feels. So I mean, does it um, does it feel a little bit like Christmas Day then when you're releasing a single? I don't know about that. I think it's like it's almost like Christmas Day, but with a slight undertone of apprehension. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's going so well so far. This um. Because this is the thing, everyone's just kind of like trying to get it out there as much as they can. And all the people that love and care for me are kind of looking at the things that are good about it, sending them to me. So it's more just kind of getting in touch with friends and, and people and, and my management, obviously. But now I've just found out on uh, number number three on the uh, iTunes vocal chart. So that's something that I'm holding on to that I'm really happy about. And uh, the general vibe from everyone just seems to be really, really good. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, it's had a good few thousand, and that's, I mean, buried in mind, it's only been up since 12 middle the last night. Really? Already it's had over 2,000 plays, streams. I mean, look, you know, when you look at people like Ed Sheeran, they get a million and yeah. <laughs> you know, a million people. But, you know, there's, there's someone like me with Energize, it's, uh, the way that it all is, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible news, and, you know, long may it continue. You take I mean, we'll have, a, we'll have a, a, a chat about the new single in uh, in a mo, but um, yeah. let's just uh, let's just go back to like last time I spoke to you because um, you were promoting Verona that you did with uh, Peter Wilson, and that was yeah. a, that was a fantastic tune. And that did really well, didn't it for you? Oh, it did. The thing that blows my mind about that was it was kind of like a worldwide thing. Peter's got um, he's Australian and he's got um, fans all over the world, mm-hmm. and um, I, kept, I kept kind of getting oh we're uh, just so you know we're number 32 on the main iTunes chart in, in Germany at the moment yeah. and then I've got another one saying oh we've just we just picked number 14 in Sweden um, the, the best one was uh, number one in Argentina on, on one of the uh, electronic charts so amazing it, just all over the world it seems to just take on life and um, yeah you know, it genuinely I never this is the thing I never did a huge push on that one because it was more kind of on featuring on Peter Wilson's um song yep. it just kind of took on a life of its own and uh, there was so much success to be had from it you know I hope that the new single that's coming out can, can follow in that success as well absolutely and of course as well uh, last time we spoke you'd just come back from America with uh, tour in America with We Will Rock You and uh, and it was funny because you, I, I remember you saying, um, "There's a new film coming out of Queen. I think it's going to be a bit of a hit." And <laughs> I mean, I, how much of an understatement was that? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, this goes to show 
with um, the power of Queen and the music and the uh, impression that Freddie and his whole story had on the entire world. It's, it's unbelievable. And on top of that, they turn around and they've announced another tour we will rock you for next year so that could be something that might be of interest oh right uh, i think every man and his dog will probably go for it and want it so it's going to be a really interesting one to see uh to see who plays all the different roles in that but it's uh you know it's just taken on new life once again yeah you know i, I guess you're absolutely right what an understatement for me at the time <laughs> i know but but, but it's funny because when, when the lad won the oscar on uh, on sunday night i actually thought of you and i thought i remember you saying you know, oh, there's this film coming out, Bohemian Rhapsody. I think it could be quite good or something. <laughs> and I thought, wow, there's a there's a point. And um, so, are you, would you be interested in going back into it? And um, I think, to be honest, it'd be a lot different because you know, here in the UK, everyone's going to want to have a set. All the people that were in the original cast of the Dominion will probably be up for it. It would be a really tough task. But as I say, change things happen. You never know. And uh, I'd hope that I'd get an audition because I've already got the role on the CV. So, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. But also, you just never know what's going to happen in life. If the album all blows up then I, and it's going really well, I'd probably want to, I'd probably prefer to get on the road and, and tour this and try and get my own name out there. So yeah. you just don't know what's going to happen. Exactly, yeah. Don't think too far ahead. Exactly, but obviously it's, uh, you know, it, it's always an honour to be involved in anything to do with Queen. Mm. The script's great by Ben Elton and, uh, it's, you know, it's go, going back on tour and rightly so because it's all been such a huge success of late. Yeah. And you're part of the history now, or, you know, doesn't matter what happens, you, you're part of that. Because there's certain shows, because I remember thinking Mamma Mia was going to be big, and I didn't think it would be as big as it got, but there's certain shows, you just kind of have a hunch that it's going to take off. Definitely. I mean, it was, ten, it was in the Dominion for 10 years, and, um, you know, that's, again, testament to the show and to the music itself already. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it kind of, because, and that was made, uh, many years ago now, um... And it's kind of still sticking around, although it's, it's you know, they kind of, once it goes out of town, people start to think, oh, it's maybe had its biggest day. But, yeah. you know, things like that with, with Bohemian Rhapsody, with the movie coming back out and being huge, it goes to show that there's still huge hankering for it from everybody. And I think it's a show that would tour very well because, uh, you know, everyone in the region, uh, in the, um, you know, the region of the UK, which... They know what they're going to get when they go to it. They're going to get great music. Yep. They're going to get great musicianship, great performances. You know, they're going to know all the songs. So I, I think, I, I can't believe they haven't bought it to regional theatres. Um, and I think that now it, it will take on new life once again. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, I think you. I think I think you're bang on there. I think you're spot on with that one. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and also, it was, it was announced the other day that you're going to be uh, doing Easter pantomime. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I'm back up. Uh, I'm back up towards that neck of the woods. So yeah, it's um, at the Epstein Theatre. I've done it once before, and I played the lad in there. Right. Uh, I just had a whale of a time. It was I can't wait to well, good luck with that. And I've got to ask you, because, uh, I mean, obviously everybody knew you from uh, Same Difference with your sister Sarah in The X Factor, and there's a there's a chance now that they're going to be asking the old chaps back. Have they asked you? Are you interested in going back into it? It's one of those. I never want to say never to anything, because... It, you just don't know. I mean, if they wanted to create a super band of all the bands, for example, and, and, and there was a potential for that, that might be an option. You just don't know what the thoughts are with, with you know, the TV show and where they're at. Obviously, I'd, I'd certainly listen. Yep. But I'd say for nothing, Sarah won't be up for doing it at all. No. I mean, you know, current condition and everything, um, how she is. And um, I'd only kind of do it if it, it made big sense. You know, and um, but at the same time, you know, there's so many artists that will be falling over themselves to get on it. So it's, you know, I can't unless there's a hell of a lot of pressure, and it will have to feel right. I think. Yeah. But I think it would be, I mean, as you, as you say, you're, sort, you're, sort, you're, you're almost taking one step back, aren't you, doing it the same difference? But if you went back as a solo artist, I mean, you, you couldn't be more different if you tried. So it, it, that, they, might, they might fancy that element of it. Which leads us nicely on to the new song, which is uh, Do or Die. It's out today. Is it your fifth solo single? Oh, let me count. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think it's fourth, actually. My fourth solo single 
um, on my own, but obviously I had the song with um, Peter Wilson as well, right. uh, which was a collaboration. So it's kind of like my, my, my fifth try at it, but my fourth single. Right. Um, you know, so... Um, that's yeah. it. It's another. It's another cracker. It's another cracker. I've got to say that before we go anywhere. Um, do you? How, how did it come about? Do you? Is there? Is there a process that you go through now? Well, this is a. This is a funny one actually because I did. I had already really turned me on, which was my debut single, and then they after that they they saw the sales were good, so they committed to doing an album, and uh, the A and R guy from the label came to me and said, "Look, this is how we see your um, your album going." And handed me a CD, and I'd say maybe. I don't know, 40, 50 percent has ended up actually being on the final album. Um, but this one was one that really stood out. It had t- bags of energy, and I love the fact that it was do or die. It kind of was telling me about, you know, it, it sang to me in a way that made me feel like, yeah, this is what I'm feeling about my, my career in itself. You know, I've got to do or die now. I know it sounds cheesy, but it, it's true, you know, it's, it's come out of the same difference. I'm now a solo artist. It's, it's, it's time to do or die. Yeah. And, um, I, it, it sort of the words really just sang at me, and I just felt like I have to record this. The big problem with it at the time was it felt a little bit old fashioned. It was actually um, given to The Wanted as a song, and they actually accepted it and took it on, and we're going to record it as a single. And uh, obviously, they um, ended up breaking up before they managed to get released it, which was, you know, sad for the, the, uh, the writers at the time, but. Then, um, as I say, it, it, I decided to take it on, and uh, you know, I'm really, really happy with the way that it's, uh, it's ended up. We brought it right up today, and um, I'm really, really pleased with the end result. Yeah, it's a cracker, absolute belter. There is an album coming out. Is there any any date on that? There's no date just yet. I mean, it's it's pretty much ready to go. I can say that. I mean, it just came to the fact because, because there's been four singles now. Um, the label were kind of a, a little bit worried that the people weren't going to get value for money um, with 12 tracks and they already knew four of them. Yeah. So what they started to do is they're doing sort of remixes. So at the moment we're just sort of waiting on a couple of remixes to come back. If we're happy with them and all, we'll go ahead and get everything um, sorted, like the front cover. But it's, it's you know, 90% there. It's just basically dotting the I's, crossing the T's. And then we, we need to start thinking about the album as much as we can. And, and the video, I, I, I noticed the uh, the beautiful Lucy Edge is in the video. Yeah, it's, um, do you know what? It just felt right. I mean, she's an amazing actress. She's absolutely gorgeous, as you well know. I mean, but the, the listeners that uh, don't know, she's my girlfriend. The weird thing was, it just kind of felt completely right in the video. I think she did an absolutely fantastic job. She looks absolutely gorgeous in it. Her acting brilliant. So, um, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed that she, she agreed to um, be part of it. It's just such a fantastic job for me. Yeah, but what I found interesting about your video, I actually that that was actually a dream I had once. I my uh, my girlfriend got kidnapped, and um, and I I went and, and went and went and played the hero and, and got and rescued her. So when I was watching your video, I thought, my God, <laughs> that's my story. In your mind. That's my dream. <laughs> it was a really great idea by um, Ash who shot the video, and uh, I think he's he's done a fantastic job. Yeah. Well, it is, it's a cracking video, and it's uh, it's out there. It's on YouTube today. I've got to say, it's, it's always a treat to speak to you, buddy. Thank you. It's always a, a, a treat to speak to you as well. Uh, you know, it means it means a hell of a, hell of a lot. And um, I, I love that part of the woods. I love it over in uh, Wrexham. I'm there in Panto, and uh, I want to send all my love to all the people there. And I hope I'll continue to support them as well. Yeah, proper chap. You take care of yourself, mate. Yeah, you too, man. You're all the best, buddy. Cheers, fella. Take care. Yeah, see you later. Cheers. Bye. I saw the signs, and all the while, it all came down to what I really saw in you. A blinding light of love and fight, a heavy crown of what I always wanted to have. All the while, out of mind and out of sight, no more doubts, now it's time to do or die. Let's get in, we'll take a ride 
Say a prayer, come out on the other side. So light the fire, let's get us high. Never coming down high above the clouds, we will fly near the sun. Never come too close for us to fall. If we do, it's time for us to do or die. Sean Smith. It's called Do or Die and it is out now and you can get it on iTunes or Tidal on Google Play, Amazon and of course Spotify. Go on, go, go get it. And also as well as uh, Sean was maybe pointing out there, uh, coming to the Epstein Theatre on Thursday the 11th of April. He's going to be uh, starring in The Wizard of Oz, a little bit of an Easter pantomime. If you want to get tickets for that, 0844 888 I'll say it again, 0844 888 a little bit of an Easter treat for the Scousers. Coming down. The Wizard of Oz coming to the Epstein Theatre. That's Sean Smith going from strength to strength. Oh, gonna take me home tonight. And as he said... Oh, toured the USA with We Will Rock You, the Queen musical. And uh, you can't let that go without playing a little bit of Queen on the stage and screen show, Cal on FM. Good afternoon to each and every one of you. Hope you're well. 